Let's give him a round of applause for expressing himself. He has the chance to be part of this revolution. He will not be left out. And I am so glad that my bishop, Bishop Gibbons, said that Sunday to go church and I put you there to go. We are going to raise this amount. Right. This is how we are going to raise it. Right. So we are rejecting the whole finance bill because we have been. The problem is not paying taxes. Even the Bible says, "Give Caesar what belongs to." What well, preach now? Give Caesar what belongs to. Preach. Yes. Uh -huh. Give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. But you cannot be giving Caesar, and Caesar is not accountable. Yes. That is our problem. Yes. We want to see. Hey. Right. Uh, two minutes of rain, small spot rain in town and it's a whole lake. Come on. What is it? What is it? Why is there no development that we are seeing? Why are there so many unemployed people that we are seeing? People have learned jobs, they are becoming innovative, but the government wants to take it all and there is nothing to give back. You right. cannot take and take. Even the Bible says, the little you are given, what are you doing with it? If you right. don't do, if you don't handle it well, it will be taken away. Just seeing for yourselves, the church acknowledges the participation of our young ones, wherever they are. Like I said in my homily just moments ago, please don't just gaze from rooftops. It is very bad to see people on the rooftops taking pictures, pointing out, do something. It is not just the year. It is also our liberation. As you have heard, the church is with these people, and I keep repeating it. The church supports the young ones in this nation. And so, if you support your young ones, wherever they are, please be part of this liberation, as you have just heard. And I gave an example. Actually, some of them I gave I had to fetch like Mitungimui um, Yamaji uh, and give them to maybe to wash their faces and to drink some I give to drink. The national journalist I met, I don't know where he is, I wish I could see him face to face to see if he recovered after this. But you can see the storm is so all of us, you and I, it pains me to see parents running away. Why are you running away? What are you running away from? And your child is right there. Really, don't you see it's a challenge? She or he is challenging you. Please, support, let us support each and everyone. And if I, what I said, their liberation is also our liberation. If anyone sinks, if anyone drowns, we also drown with them. Otherwise, I wish you all the best in this endeavor, and I'm sure we all get out of here alive, kicking, and strong. Once I'm younger, um, according to themselves, some weird names, because I never knew Kenyans can be generation that uh, seems like they are an attachment of foreigners. Um, that those who said and rumors and whatnot, depression. I don't think we share the history. I, I think there is something not uh, happening. And I think as we grow older, for which I'm so grateful, uh, I think it's good to keep making ourselves present. Uh, to tell the younger people, they are young, but we are also having memory of young. Therefore, Romans 1.16, I memorized it. When I was a teenager, I sing it. It is still in me. It's, there is nothing to be reminded. It is but I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I wish I could sing the way we sing because I keep singing it. It's a power of God. So younger people, as you look at us, it is, uh, <laughs> there is nothing new. You, you found us.
And uh, may I also add, and so please, you are not a generation with those things. I think where you, we, the problem is, we need to trace our generation uh, as Africans, as people whose history is different. Because, I mean, we reach somewhere, we are not connecting history. But the uh, most important way, I am looking for a generation of young people that know their God. Like Daniel. People who know how to pray. People who are not just... Uh, uh, Seeking for thrill, but seeking for the power of the Most High God, even if they are in Babylon. That Nebuchadnezzar can say there is no God, but the God of Daniel. That it is until we know our God that we shall be strong. Otherwise, our youth will be, we will do it on the streets, never know how to respect anybody, never know how to respect anything that uh, we are not part of, and we will not make us friends, believers. I think it's time for us to continue in prayer. For those of us who came to Kenya before independence. <coughs> okay, good morning, church. Good morning. Uh, my name is Michael. I'd like to start with the Thanksgiving first. Uh, on both Tuesday and Thursday, my sister and I went for the protests in the CBD. So <laughs> I'd like to thank God for his favor because we could have easily been Rex, Masai, or Billy. Um, secondly, the NCCK church and the mosque have come out condemning the finance bill. So as we continue paying for the country, I think it's deeply important that we get the stance of the IC church as well. I'll pray for the country because we, we do not know the will of God on the finance bill and we, know, we don't know what is behind it. So uh, Michael, you'll allow me to pray for the will of God. Yeah. And for speaking out. <laughs> Thank you for your fearless stand against injustice. Thank you for holding the leaders and the institutions in this country to account. Thank you for your zero tolerance to corruption. for making history and for ushering us into a new chapter as a country, for opening up a new chapter for Kenya. The first thing we want to say is thank you for your courage. The second thing we want to say is we are proud of you because the protests that happened this week were orderly. Sisi kama Gen Z kitu kitu tungependa kuambia Ruto Sisi kama Gen Z tulisema hatuwezi pangwa hatupangwi ngwi kabisa na Meru alisema toti na anokorea What we mean is kama hii serikali haitutambui pia sisi hatuitambui so sisi kama gen z we would rather die studying on our feet other than live on our knees so sisi bado mapambano ile tuliwaonyesha ile ilikuwa ni kionjo bado tunakuja and when the youth support people we ignite the flame kwa hivyo sisi gen z tunakuja kuwaonyesha what is unity of purpose all the way from Meru county to Kopamoja na Kenya yote ruta must go for this uh, generation the gen z you know them they are our sons and daughters aren't they yes we pray for them let us pray that god the holy spirit and also mother mary may help us to listen to what they are saying are they saying something yes, yes. they are saying something <laughs> they are telling us something and maybe nobody else would tell that to tell us for us maybe we are not courageous enough or maybe we have no energy. For them, they have a lot of energy. And so, we would like to pray for them. As I say, they are our children, they are our sons and daughters. We only pray that they will be well guided. 
that the Holy Spirit will also guide them because they are also Christians, I believe, many of them. May the Holy Spirit guide them. And we pray for our government not to react to them, but to respond. There's a big difference between reacting and responding. Let us pray that they, all of us, we are our parents, government especially, and all of us, let us respond. Let us not overreact. Just because maybe we have the power. They also have their own power. And I think you realize the Kenyan population, over 75% are in that generation. So they don't, let us not underestimate their, their power. Let us not. If we are icy enough, if the government was wise enough, we will know that there is an issue here to be addressed. To be addressed. So we pray for them. And we pray that let them not be involved in any violence or anything that is uh, contrary to our faith. But let them, I would say, let them continue reminding us about the social injustices, uh, corruption in our country. Because that is what is happening. <laughs>